Hey everyone, my name is Heva and welcome back. I have one of the three new palettes that Hourglass came out with for their Holiday 2022 collection. It's their Ambient Lighting Edit Unlock palettes and they are to support Hourglass mission to unlock, I like the little play on words there, to unlock the cages of wildlife animals in captivity. So for every palette sold, 5% of the profits will go to, let me look here, to support the non-human rights project in their efforts to secure fundamental rights for animals. So that's a good thing. So again, there are three palettes in this holiday collection and I got one and the one that I did get is the tiger palette. So here's the cover of the tiger palette. As you can see, it's got tigers on it. And again, it's done by illustrator Katie Scott. The packaging is tin, and when you open it up, it does have a mirror. And there are six shades in this unlock palette. Two of them are existing shades, which is this one and this one. And then these four are new shades in this palette for Tiger. Let me let you know about the other two palettes. You have the Elephant palette, which is really pretty. Do you like the packaging in that with that cute elephant there? And in this palette, there are also two existing shades and four new shades in this one. And the lightest of the three is the Butterfly. Now that one has three existing shades and three new shades. But I figured those are going to be a little too light and probably wouldn't use it, and Butterfly will be just really too light for my skin tone. And plus with Butterfly, there are three existing shades with three new shades. So you're not really getting your bang for your buck with that palette, by, but with the Butterfly palette. I could have gotten away with Elephant and you know, it is kind of pretty, especially with those blushes and maybe the bronzer and maybe the powders might work. But I may look into that maybe when Sephora has their sale, if this will be available at Sephora. But yeah, I did get the darker of the three, the Tiger palette. Now these do cost $85 each. And what Hourglass did this time is that you you can customize your palette. At first I thought you can customize which shades you want in each palette, but no, it doesn't work that way I guess. Say you like the shades in the tiger palette, but you like the elephant palette so you're able to customize it that way. Or if you love butterflies and you like the elephant palette, you can customize it that way too. So that's kind of a good idea that they can do that. But I went ahead and got the tiger palette inside the tiger packaging. Just try to make it simple. Plus I do like the tigers. This is real pretty. That one's coming in second, a very close second, because I kind of like that one. So let me show you the palette again. It has the gold H for Hourglass with the pretty tigers, and I thought the artwork would go to the side, but as you can see, it doesn't. I guess it does come on the top with the tail, and not so much on the bottom. And of course, this is what the back looks like. And then again, here are the shades in the tiger palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this first. Let me start with this one. It's an existing shade, and this is the Transcendent Light, and it's a finishing powder. This one did come in last year's Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 3, and I do have that one, and I do love to use this one as a bronzer. But we'll see how the rest of the shades work in this palette. So here's the first shade. I know it's kind of hard to see on my skin tone, but this is a very pretty shade and it's a very pretty powder. Now this next one, it's the Brilliant Globe Strobe Light and this is a strobe powder. So I believe you can use this as a highlighter. And then this one is a new shade. Has a little bit of a peachy undertone. Very pretty. This one is a new shade and it's the blush and it's burnished glow and I'm excited about this one. This one kind of looks like a, a pumpkin. And I think that would be very pretty on medium skin tone. And it does have a little bit of a shimmer too. Wow, these three will look very pretty as eyeshadows. The bottom row is a new one and it's the Divine Strobe Light Strobe Powder. So another highlighter. Oh wow, that one is really going to give you some strobe light. And then this one is Copper Flash Strobe Light, another strobe powder. And this one is a new shade. Oh, that's a pretty copper shade. And then this last one is Iridescent Rose and this is an existing shade. And this one is a blush. So here are the swatches in the Tiger palette. Very pretty and I think this is going to be very pretty on medium and deep skin tones. Let me go get my brushes and we'll apply this on my face and see how this works. But judging by the swatches, I think it's going to be very pretty. So as you can see, you only have foundation, eyeshadows, and lipstick on. So let's go ahead and use the Tiger palette. And I think what I'm going to use is this one, the Transcendent Light. And I'm using the new Sonia G Jumbo Bronzer. And I'm going to use that as a bronzer on one side. Did pick up some product. And maybe use it as a finishing powder on the other side. I don't know. Let's just see how this works. So I'm using this one as a bronzer on this side. That is very pretty. Let me just put some on my forehead too as well. 
You know what, let me go ahead and use the bronzer on the other side too, just to kind of even it up a little bit. And I think I can use it as a all over finishing powder, but very lightly, maybe with a fluffier brush, because this one is a little bit dense, but it's still soft. Now I want to use this as a blush, burnish glow. And let's see, let me go in with this on your G brush. I need to wipe it off. All right, let me go in once. All right, I did pick up some and let me put you on this side. Burnished glow. Oh, that's really pretty. That is very pretty. Let me just go in one more time. One more dip. And let me just add some more. Because I really do like that pumpkin color. Oh, there's a piece of hair right there. <laughs> very pretty. And you can see that it does have a little bit of a sheen to it where it's not like a strobe light, like a highlighter, but it's very pretty. I do like this color. Okay, let me go in with another brush and on this side I'll use this iridescent blush Now this one is of a light pink to me but we'll see how this one fares very pretty and you can see that there is a little bit of a glow there too I think this way you can kind of see the difference in colors you have burnished glow and iridescent pink hope you can see the difference there I don't know which one I like better. I think I like the burnished glow. I think I like that. That's pretty. I'm gonna try this one as a highlight, which is a Copper Flash Strobe Light, which is this one right here. I'm gonna go in very lightly like that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put it on this side with this pumpkin blush. Maybe a little bit too much, but you know what? It works together. It really does. It doesn't look like, you know, a straight line of highlight there. And it just kind of made Burnish Glow pop a little bit more, I think. But yeah, I'm not going to dip in anymore. I think this is all I'm going to do with this one. That's very pretty. Get another highlighting brush. And then using this one, which is the Divine Strobe Light, the Strobe Powder. And I'm going to use this one as a highlight. Let me show you the swatch, which is this one. I mean, that one's going to give you something. So let me put you on this side. Yeah. That one gave me something. <laughs> I mean, you just need a little bit. And also what I like to do with some highlighters is just kind of highlight underneath my brow bow. Yeah, that one is strobing. <laughs> so there you go. I hope you can see the difference in both sides. Now this shade right here, which is the Brilliant Glow Strobe Light. It's a strobe powder. I'm going to try to use that one as a finishing powder. I mean, you could use this however you like. So let me try just very gently and let's just go underneath my eyes and see what happens. If it's too much of, it might be too much of a glow for a finishing powder for me. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, so we tried, but yeah, that's not going to work for me. So then what I'm going to do is go back into the first shade, Transcendent Light. Just kind of go over that and see what will happen. Let me just go in some more and just kind of buff everything together. Okay, so just did this side with the Transcendent Light. Let me go in with my forehead. Just half. Yeah, it is kind of glowy right there still. So note to self, do not use this one as a finishing powder because it even though it doesn't look like it has that much of a strobe light like this one, there's still some shimmer to there and it will give you that glow. And you don't want it in places that will kind of emphasize what you got. And I got a lot of wrinkles. So let me go on this side with the Transcendent Light. Yeah, if you use a fluffy brush and gently go into that, that will be very pretty as a finishing powder. You can see a difference because I use that strobe light here underneath my eyes. It's just kind of a little too much. But then when you go in with Transcendent Light, the finishing powder, it's a lot better. So I can use this one as a bronzer and as a finishing powder, depending on the, the brush that I use. Yeah, I'm just trying to tone this one down, but I think it's a little too late. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think that's all I'm going to do or my face is just going to be strobing all day long. 
here. You know, I do like this palette. It's very pretty. This blush, Burnished Glow, right? Yes, Burnished Glow. It's very pretty. I really do like that shade for me. And then putting the Copper Flash on top of it as a highlighter, it did, really did kind of mold them together. Iridescent Pink, it is very pretty. Kind of wish it was just a different, maybe a little bit deeper, but it's still pretty nonetheless. And this Divine Strobe Highlight, yeah, that one, that one gives you some glow there. And with these strobe lightings by Hourglass, they don't look glittery. They don't emphasize my texture, which is very nice because I got the texture. And they are just very pretty. They just apply very nicely on the skin. The Transcendent Light, love that. Love it from last year. Love it this year. As a bronzer and as a finishing powder for me. I thought it would be too dark, but I kind of like it. I think it, it works. And then this one here, the Brilliant Glow Strobe Light. Don't use it as a finishing powder, as you can see. <laughs> use it as a highlighter. Because even though it is kind of muted from this one, which is the Divine Strobe Light, it still gives you something there. And I think I mentioned them all, but yeah, love this palette. Love the shades in this palette. Now I'm really seriously thinking about getting the Elephant palette. For one, I do like the packaging with the Elephant. And two, I want to try those shades. Because even though there are two existing shades, I don't have them. So I may end up getting the Elephant palette too. We'll see. But the Tiger Palettes, very pretty. <laughs> really do like this side here. Well, Alright, you guys, I hope you enjoyed and liked this video of me trying on the Hourglass Tiger Palette. And I think it's very pretty. Very impressed with this side. Really do like it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you liked and enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. Maybe I might get the elephant. And that way you can see that video if I get it. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.